Welcome back, Wild. It's Sleep Off Stalker bringing you guys another episode of Zuma Chronicles 2. I was about to say Splatoon 3, so. Yeah, at least they got the right name. Okay, last episode we ran away from that guy who kept stalking us, so. Looks like my title's up for uh, grabs, I guess. So I'm just gonna. Screw it! It must have sent star skill. Screw you. Make a dash for it. Let's go. Finally. You took your sweet time? You're the... Hey, Charlotte. Hey! You just don't give up, do you? Come on, out the way. More like stubborn leech than turtle. <laughs> this time I'm here for something a little bit different. Oh, what's that supposed to mean? I want to see just how good you are, chum. I've been waiting here for three whole days already. Three days? Seriously? You know what? No thanks. I don't pick on it yet. Well then. Fight me, and we'll see who's the idiot. How did you know that we'd be here? I'll tell you, if you can beat me. You want to join the fun too? No. You all go ahead. Huh? Why? What a shame. Looks like the illustrious Flamebringer won't be helping you this time. Thanks for the concern and all, but maybe you should be worrying about yourself. Big tree to your right, big rock to your left, and a cliff right behind you. Which one's gonna get you this time, eh? Not today, furry ears. Check this. Seriously yet? Hmm? Oh, so strong. What the how did you do that? Thunderbolt Zeke. Tantal's most powerful driver. And its crown prince. Crown Prince of Tantal. This guy? It is quite the rare opportunity to see his swordsmanship firsthand. Now this is more like it. Ooh, come on. Yeah, keep it coming. Mm. That's it? That's all I get? Oh, fine. Anyway, ready to concede defeat to the Zekanator? As if. We're only just warming up, you pompous ass. I'm right with you. Let's show them what we got. <laughs> yes! Let's see if the Aegis is worth the hype! Hyah! Okay, Morag has left the party. And... Let's go. Let's show him a thing or three. See! I'm not gonna lie, the first time I... The first time I did do this fight on my own playthrough, I did lose. But only because uh, I had more in my party, and then she left, and then I didn't want to do more about him. Oh, that was close. I you. This is actually not much of a difference. Everyone's 
fruits and veggies. Actually, wait, I've got a better idea. Tora, you come here and you equip something that increases your aggro. Oh, wait, uh, yeah, I can use it on Rex instead. Yeah, Rex is... That should help out. You guys saw enough.
Not bad, chum. Right back at you. Impressive. Didn't think I'd ever see another driver and blade on Moragon Bridges level. You're still holding back. Where's the Aegis's true power? Mithra's power is only for fighting bad guys. Oh, that's so sweet. So I'm a good guy now, is that it? Am I wrong? <laughs> I like your attitude there, chum. Well, that's an Aegis's driver for you. How did we do, your highness? Sure, you pass. I think we can just about let you into the Praetorium. What the hell? I've been working for Indel for a while now. A kind of special envoy. They asked me to keep an eye out for the Aegis. Actually, I volunteered to. You know how it is. I'm jolly sorry for testing you like that. We were planning on getting this over with in one encounter, but His Highness has the most awful luck, so... Yeah, I think I got that. What are you talking about? Everyone has bad days, right? There he goes. Hmm. Bad luck indeed. Uh, should we go rescue him? Nah. He'll find his own way back up somehow. Let's just board the ship. Amazing! Whoa! It's so grand. Sure, because they're trying to, Lord. You don't have to be like that. Hmm? Did you say something? Oh, uh, no, nothing. Your audience with the Praetor is scheduled for tomorrow. Before that, maybe you'd all like to have a look around? See the sights of Indol? Sounds like a pretty rare opportunity. Yeah! Let's look around city! Tora want to see everything! What are we, tourists? There's no harm in that, is there? This would be a first for me, too. Right. You were a bit big to go running around Indol before now. Oh, that's a funny image. With more rag back in the party, we're still not going to use a. Uh... Actually, you know what? Before we continue, uh, we probably should just do that. I am awake. Oh yeah, that's good. Actually, I think I will switch back to more rag because more rag would be nice. 
And also, I want to check the core chips again, because I think we got another flower chip. Yes. Not for any tanks. The drone lock could be useful, but it's not that great. Um, Warriors, not that great either. Definitely not on that. Definitely. Mash, maybe. Yeah. Poppy needs some more damage. I mean, her damage is just so bad. Oh, I've got three flower chips and one magnet chip. I can't see. Let's see. Yeah. Rock, yeah, you need this as well. Actually, one minute, how much is a magnet chip? Yeah, you can have the magnet chip. Yep, I feel pretty happy with that. Oh, and also while I'm at it, I should check characters. Mmm, any chance? Maybe. I haven't seen Rex's in a bit. But I need to see weapon points. Really? Nothing. Okay. Nice. Butterfly play. Nothing there. Morag. Why would your thing... No. Blaze. Perfect. I should want to see something. 39, 7. No, I think I'm good with this for now. Ready to debrief. Of course. Return safely! Back in one piece. Right. I'm stronger. We only have this power. Zami, you've been gone a very long time. You okay? Titan weaponry. Need two fireplaces. I'll take care of it. I won't let you down. Okay, I'll take Understood. care of it. Sure. That's the luck, guys. Let's see. I'm going for you. Oh, certain again. I'll go for this one. I'll put every effort into it. I'll keep you wondering. That looks Good very good. Okay, there we are. That's that. That's gone down. So while we're here, might as well look around, right? Like they said to. I recommend you do as much as you can in as little time hey, as you can. Hey, look what I found! Congratulations. No more blades, no more war. What does that mean? That, my fuzzy-eared friend, is an anti-blade protest. The refugees have really been going at it since last year or so. Whew, where do you come from? What do you do? Swim, yeah? Did blades do something wrong? The Praetorium is single-handedly responsible for doling out core crystals to other countries. Though, sometimes the likes of Dougal and Anna grab a piece of the pie. Therefore, Indol has the power to control war itself? That's one way of looking at it. At least. 
But war is about much more than just blades and drivers. I know that, and you know that, but that doesn't mean they're gonna accept it. I guess so. There's a lot of... Gormotti here. They fled the Gormotti War ten years ago. But here they are, refugees still. Yes, they're a funny old lot, you know. We feed them, we water them, and this is the thanks we get. Don't these ruffians know that manners cost nothing? I swear, you lend these people a hand and they want the whole bloody arm. It's easy to disregard things beyond your control and direct your anger at targets closer to hand. Hmm. Do you have something to say? Not really. Out with it, Rex. More ordains Titan. It's dying, and everybody knows it. That's why they... Why you need Gormot. Our population is large. Larger than Uriah's. But you don't have the resources to support all those people. You are astute for someone so young. Us salvagers pick up more than just artifacts. I'm not daft. I know fine words alone won't change reality. So you seek Elysium. Is that wrong? No. I was just reminded how young you are. Still, if it's Rex, or people who harp on about justice with no solutions, I'm betting on Rex. I must admit, I do respect the boy's drive. Ah. I'm just stumbling my way forward. I would say something political about that, but best not to rub my influence into politics. Especially because a person is no longer in power. So I'd rather not. Oh, is that the case? New locale. All of them are... I have gained a new memory. All of them are gone. I, I tried to look around for some side quests, but they're not open yet. Oh well. I, I, I never understood how to get out of there, so just skip travel out whenever you do have to. And where you? Let us go. you something go ahead rex is the one who woke up mithra and i think he appreciates what that means and it's just that well you're not doing anything to stop us why is that because of adam <laughs> Five hundred years ago, he became this great hero, who we celebrate even today. But I know him only through legends. A chance to see what his blade is capable of for myself? I confess, I was intrigued. So here I am. You know I'm not Adam, right? But you are the Aegis's driver. The second you're under Imperial control, you won't be that hero anymore. Hmm. I'm not sure I follow. People with great power should be their own masters. Is that what you mean? Close enough. You can interpret it that way if you like. <laughs> Even the mighty Flamebringer can be bloody hard work sometimes. Can't you just admit the real reason? I don't like what you're implying.
The inner Praetorium is beyond this gate. Here you will find the main administrative facilities. With your permission, I'll show you to your lodgings. This is Sarius Plaza. Wow, it's pretty huge. Busy too. I dare say many people gather here on religious pilgrimages. Precisely collect. Many people arrive in Indo with each coming day. And the building you see ahead is the Indoline Sanctum. Impressive, isn't the half of it? How, how'd you like it, eh? Really makes you appreciate the majesty of the Praetorium, right? Where do you go off sounding so proud, Shad? It's magnificent, truly magnificent. Rooms have already been made ready for you. You'll find them left as you enter the sanctum. Where we get to stay in this big fancy building, you are our honoured guests here after all. Quite amazing. Now then, shall we go? God, I can't walk formal in here. It's it's way too long. I don't think I'm going the wrong way. Of people in masks. Wonder what their deal is. Wow! World has many amazing places I've, uh, in it. Yeah, I we thought so. We have good to go rooms. I think we can walk. Not for more. Lady Fan told us you would be coming. You must have endured great hardship on your journey. Please feel free to use the chambers we prepared for you. Best. Enjoy your stay. Your audience with the Praetor is scheduled for tomorrow in the Sanctum's audience chamber. If there is nothing else, I shall take my leave. Okay. Thanks for all your help. My pleasure. Good night. Night. Hey, Pyra. So, Adam, what kind of a person was he? Should I ask Mithra? No, no, it's fine. I was just wondering. He was incredible. Incredible? In Mithra's memories, I mean. I knew him only very briefly before I went to sleep. But Mithra can't remember a more... genuine, courageous person. She had never met a more... Wonderful man. He sounds like a real hero. Mm-hmm. And you remind her of him a lot. Oh, I do, do I? Great. Wait, what? <laughs> I suppose Mithra won't be very pleased I told you that. Pyra, come on. I agree with her, you know. <laughs> Cold this morning. Miss Fan. Oh, has somebody got a little crush? Mia, what are you doing here? Early riser. Always have been. Oh, I see how it is, you. I wonder what Pyra and Mithra would think. Hey, no! You got the wrong... just... Just what? Go on. I don't know. 
I thought she looked... sad. Oh, good morning, you two. There's still some time before your audience. Sorry, we just woke up really early. Ah, I see. That's a pretty nice mural. Very... grand. It depicts the creation of Allrest. They say this mural was painted long ago, when the nation of Indol was still new. Oh, you've been looking at it for a while? They're missing. What do you mean by they? My memories. I know that I must have been around since this mural was first painted, or even earlier, but I don't remember that time at all. Well, you are a blade. I don't know who I was, or what I did. And I'd really like to. Mithra's lived for an awful long time. Maybe she'll know something about you. Mithra called me Haze earlier. Could it be possible that she met me somewhere before? Sometime in the past? Do you want to ask her later? Could I? Thank you very much. No, no need to thank me. You helped us too. Look at you going all red. I'll tell Pyra, I swear. What? I told you it's not like that. We'll see. Hey, relax. You'll give yourself wrinkles. A driver and blade are one in body and soul. It was you who told me that. Well, the other you, I mean. You mean Mithra? Of course. It was 500 years ago, so perhaps you have forgotten. Oh, I do remember saying that. So it's true? But how could she possibly remember? You're wondering how I could remember words from so long ago? What's this? You could call it a diary, I suppose. It contains details about my past lives. It's the only way I have to remember. When we return to the core crystal, our minds are wiped clean of all memories. Though a blade's life is eternal, our effective lifespans as individuals are far shorter than a human's. You know, it's not just me. A lot of blades try to preserve their memories in journals like this one. Even though it's often futile. After all, a core crystal cannot protect a diary. Usually, the volume is lost to us, along with our memories. I'm fortunate amongst blades. I'm passed down as an imperial treasure and recorded in official chronicles. Uh, Bridget? I don't know where your true intentions lie. I can only make an educated guess. But Rex, he is your driver. If you truly trust him, I would advise you tell him everything. If you can't do that even for him, you shouldn't be his blade at all. I just... <sighs> if you care about him, it's even more important. I know what it's like to be afraid of rejection. I really do. But... If you don't tell him now, you're just storing up pain for later, not making it easier. Way you say that... You really do see right through me. Well... We go back a long way, as you recall. And we're both blades, after all. It's almost time. I don't know about you guys, but I'm starting to get a bit nervous. Be careful not to say anything disrespectful. I know, I know. The audience chamber is just across the courtyard. We'll be there in a jiffy. Well, we can hardly keep the Praetor himself waiting. Shall we head out? 
Well, I think it's been quite an eventful episode. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. We beat up Zeke. He fell down off a cliff, like usual. Um, he, we also made it to Indol. We had a bit of a, well, a bit of a long cutscene. But other than that, I think it was a pretty good episode. Hope you guys enjoy this, our adventure so far. And I'll see you guys next time. Sleep off so far out.